What's up guys? Been at it this morning for a couple hours now. I'm gonna straighten the wheel. We are checking our lines. We check out about every 30 minutes here, but we are targeting Oahu this morning. Might as well since it's the best full moon in the year for them, August full moon. And uh, basically we'll try this for a little bit longer. If we don't catch Oahu, then we're gonna move on to some bottom fishing. And basically whatever fish that I pull up and it's legal to keep, it's gonna be a cast clean cook day. Ugh, give me time. Checking my line, checking my weight, and also my lure here, just making sure it has no weed on it, which could happen. Nope, we're all good. Beautiful, black and red. This is a this is Ballyhood cowbell lure. It's gonna slay the fish. We caught a lot of fish on this thing before, so just putting it out. This is our long line. Love Ballyhood. I'll link them down below if you guys are interested in getting your own, but they also sell a variety of pelagic lures as well. So I'm just gonna send it back out, folks in gear. All right, all set. I'm gonna troll about 12 to 14 knots. It's my turn, let's go. Pick it up. All right, guys, Dorothy didn't catch any Oahu today. Nope. She blew I it. It sucked. It was a good effort, though. <laughs> it was a good effort. Now we move on to the second phase of today's fishing. We're going to bottom fish, and whatever we catch, Dorothy's got to eat it. Catch a clean cook. Yeah. Remora, Blue Runner. You say I'm going to eat it if I catch something good. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to eat most of it, probably. Nope. <laughs> anyway, hopefully we catch a good fish, but we're going to see. Yeah. Well, we got our good luck on, on the boat today. Silent Frank! What is this fish we here for? Oh, it's a uh, T's question. <laughs> if you must know. TMI? That's real life on the boat, guys. There's no bathroom on the boat. She goes off the back like every other real fisherman. Yeah. All right, let's I catch some fish. I don't need no toilet. <laughs> High level. I'm, I'm drifting and this goofball's got to come. How many feet? 50 feet away from me? The entire ocean. Were you 50 feet away? Yeah, no, I saw him coming. I think he just... Yeah, just made a quick steer closer. But your butt was out. Yeah. <laughs> that was a sausage fest on that boat. <laughs> sausage fest on that boat, she said. Frank, what do you think? I concur. He concurs. You guys better catch Darcy something to eat tonight. Come on. Come on, get up here. Get up here, nice fish. Please stay on. 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 It's floating. It's floating. Reeling fast, reeling fast. Shark territory. Gotta bring my fish up. Color, color, color. I got color. All right. Uh, got me excited. Woo. All right. Sorry about that. I was the last couple fish that I hooked ended up coming off the hook on the way up. Oh! Just pulled up off on the way up. How does that happen? So I was just like, stay on the hook, please. All right, well, I could technically eat this guy, but he is not a lingual fish. So this fish, unfortunately, has to go home. So first fish of the day in the boat, and it's the right species, he's just not legal. So I'm gonna drop him back down. You can see my circle hook, mustad circle hook, right in the corner of the mouth, doing its job. And that particular bait was a dead sardine. Mutton snappers love sardines. All right, let's pop that hook out. Let me get this guy vented. He's a little bit blown up. And then I'm gonna drop my bait back down. Oh, he got it. Frank, cause Frank's on, Frank's on. Yep. Good. Gonna eat a runner? Darcy's gonna eat, we're making a video today. Darcy eating whatever comes up. Oh, Brian's keep. the goat. The goat. We got the runner. Frank called it. He's like, I'm pretty sure it's a blue runner. So it looks like we're going to be eating bait for uh, dinner tonight. <laughs> but I'm going to try to catch something else. I still got a little time left. Blue runner, kingfish bait. I'm going to stick them in the well, I guess. Let keep them alive till we're ready to go home. But I want to catch something a little better than this. Frank's hooked up again. 
He thinks it might be a bigger blue runner for me. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna get you at least a meal. <laughs> at least a meal. Hopefully it's something good, but I'm gonna lead her up this fish here. Aw, he's pretty. That's the cutest little mutton snapper I ever did see. Bye, little buddy. Looks like you're having runner right, for I dinner. Make it better, Josh, I can feel it. Blue runner. Blue runner for dinner. <laughs> oh, this thing's fighting good. Don't know what I got, guys, but I got a lot of lime out. Just saw something weird going on on the surface, like a fish floating by. I got a lot of line out currently ripping today. Absolutely ripping. Um, just it's just the time time of year when the current is like this, and we also got a little bit of wind, so it's pushing us across the surface pretty good. So it's just hard to hold bottom. And when we're live, when we're not using live bait, the dead bait has to be presented on the bottom. So it's just very difficult. So runner. All right. Thank you. Two runners in the boat. Felt like something better, but that's fishing for you. Bloody runner, oh boy. Well, looks like a runner catching cook for you, Dar Sizzle. For you too. No, for you. You're the star of the show now, all of a sudden. For you too. <laughs> all of a sudden, it's your show. I don't, you're good. I'm just gonna relegate myself to the background from now on. Uh, the bloody mess. There he is. Two runners in the boat. It's not a good fishing day. Well, hey, we caught fish, so it is a good fishing day. But it's immediately after the moon, so most the full moon, so most of the uh, snappers and things on the bottom fed all night long. So they're probably not hungry. All right, looks like time's up, guys. On our plan today, and Darcy's gonna be eating bait for dinner. You're gonna be eating bait. It's gonna be delicious. We gotta bleed those fish and uh, keep them nice and cold. So hope they'll be decent. Get the shoes. We'll get the shoes. We'll get the shoes. We made it back to the house. Really hot out there this time of the year, so it's nice to be back at the house under the canopy of this tree in the shade to fillet the fish we caught. In my grizzly cooler, I have the blue runners that we caught, which I'm sure a lot of people eat throughout the world. This is a big runner. I actually just want to get a quick measurement on them on the grizzly cooler because usually we use them between like six and eight inches long to uh, use them for kingfish bait or just bait in general. So he's almost at the 22 mark, that 22 inch mark. That is a big old blue runner. And for their size, this is the bigger size of their species. I don't know how much more bigger they get than this, but it, he's pretty big boy. By the way, I'm using this seven inch saltwater fillet knife from Smith's Products. And this company is based out of Arkansas and they have been making knives and sharpeners since 1886. We're gonna get right into this. I'm just gonna start cutting right behind the pectoral fin. You want a super sharp knife when you're filleting fish now, because you don't wanna cook it, and having a dull knife, you will definitely cook it. So you wanna make sure it stays extra sharp. And I'm just turning the knife around, going down the backbone now. And these fish have a really tough tail area right in here. Super, super tough skin, so I just like to cut through and make that initial cut through the end to get that out of the way. And uh, you might also know his really dark color. And I think the dark color comes from this fish living out in the ocean, in the deep sea. This is an oceanic blue runner, I guess you would, if he, he would be considered. But he lives out there in the deep sea with all the other big fish. So I think that's where they get their dark color from. And usually when we use blue runners for bait, they're much, much smaller, like I said before but also they have a really light color, like to blue tint. So this guy is just totally dark and doesn't look like any of the smaller ones we use for bait. So just made that cut and we did bleed this guy. So he should be quite delicious. There we go, just laid off that side, no problem. That meat looks actually really good. It's just much darker than your standard snapper or mahi or anything like that. And these fish also have a big bloodline. 
So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna take the same knife and I'm going to take, remove the skin from the fish loins. And just pull it close to me, make that initial cut under the tail. Yeah, this is like, a, this actually feels like a bow in that whole area of the tail, it's crazy. So now that we made that cut, I'm just gonna work my knife down. I'm gonna try to, you can see that on the skin? You see all that bloodline? This fish has a really big bloodline uh, throughout and it's very close to the skin. So I'm gonna try to leave some of the meat on, but we'll see what happens. And once again, sharp knife is so important to make your perfect cuts. So there we go. So, but you see how I did that? I left some of that skin on there and it kept most of that bloodline that was over the initial part of the body on the skin, which is what I wanted. So perfect job there. And this is the back side of the loins. And you can see that really dark and thick bloodline. So you don't want to eat that. That dark meat is going to be very fishy. So I'm going to remove it. I'm just making an outline of it. So this bloodline I'm sure would have been much bigger if we didn't bleed the fish out. And then just cutting down, cutting towards it and then down. And then this also removes all the pin bones up by the head. But as long as you guys actually probably take care of a fish, any fish is edible in my opinion. It just is a matter of how you wanna cook it. So this fish wouldn't be good as sushi, but I'm sure this fish will be good multiple other ways to eat them. But there you go, I just, just, saw, just showed you I removed that bloodline out completely and we've got our beautiful loins here. So I'm going to finish the other side of this fish and then I'm gonna meet you in the house with Cooking with Pudding. What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Pudding. Now today we're making pokey. Darcy tells me it's pronounced poke, but I'm gonna be saying pokey today because I don't care. This is an excellent Hawaiian dish or also known as like, it's like a rice bowl. You put almost anything you want in it, usually made with tuna or maybe salmon. But today, as you know, we're making it with bait. I mean, Blue Runner, and I hope it's gonna be delicious. Otherwise, <laughs> I'm not gonna be very happy. But anyway, first thing we need to do is cut this up into three quarter inch cubes. All right, guys, here we go. I'm gonna cut these up using my new Smith's product knife. It's from our their cabin and lodge kitchen set. So pretty fancy. And again, 33 quarter inch cubes. Ooh, nice and sharp. Pretty much like that. Into the bowl. Next thing is we're gonna cut some scallions. Next, we're gonna add some ponzu, some soy sauce, a tablespoon of rice vinegar. Teaspoon and a half of sesame oil. Oh, that's about a <laughs> one and a half. Sprinkle of sesame seeds. Stir the slotted spoon. After you get it all stirred up, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator to chill for about 30 minutes. All right guys, now it's time to cut up whatever vegetables we wanna put in the bowl. Cutting up peppers here. Some more scallions. Some avocado. All right, that mango didn't come out too good, but we got a couple pieces here. Some grated carrots. We're gonna do a little cucumber, give it a little design. All right guys, time to make our bowl. And just like we said, you can pretty much put anything you want in here. One, two. Some avocado, pretty. Red peppers, looks good already. Some carrots. Of course we need our delicious fish. Some mango. Some hot peppers, I love hot peppers. Lots of seeds. Some cucumbers. Load it up with some chives maybe. She has this thing really piled up with some alfalfa sprouts as well. 
Some homemade sriracha sauce. Top it off with some sesame seeds. Whoa, that looks good. All right, Dar Sizzle, time to dive in. Time to try our first ever poke bowl. And you guys haven't seen me since I filleted the fish. Pokey, poke bowl, mine. Looks beautiful. She was giving plenty of orders behind the scenes, even if you didn't see her. I'm the one that, <laughs> that found the recipe. All he did was mix it together because it's cooking with pudding. So, but right, I'm excited. Pokey. I uh, wish it was tuna, but we'll see what happens. Here we go. First ever taste test of raw. Dive in. I got my land shark lager. Well, you gotta dive in at the same time. I'm sure I might need to wash it down. No, you go ahead first. Same time. Good. All right, fine. That was not terrible. That's not That's not bad at all. That seasoning, the mixture that it chills in, actually made it taste quite tasty. It's amazing. It all mixes together. Yeah. It's good. I mean, I'm sure it'd be much better if it was tuna. Some ahi tuna. But, I mean. Wahoo. Here we go. Avocado, sprouts, I'm gonna get a mixture of everything and taste it. And I'll let you guys know again. But this is good. I would, I'm shocked that it's really good, to be honest with you. Well, you know, again, it's all natural ingredients. You know, it's like a Hawaiian thing or a Caribbean. And so they make real fresh food. And then it's good, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. But as usual, all the stuff that Darcy uses from the knives to the rice cooker, we didn't show you this time, but it's yeah. on our Amazon store. You can check that out, link down in the description below. Yeah, the brand new knives, all that good stuff that we've seen that you saw in this video. Maybe you guys will try out this recipe too, but it is a bomb, also great with salmon, and I'm sure a multitude of other fish species. Anything better than Blue Runner, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good, you can't even notice it, but all the stuff in it, honestly. It's like Quite flying. a few of you guys, my fans, actually said to use Blue Runner in a poke recipe, so we did, and it's good. Nice. Yeah. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this catch clean cook video with Blue Runner, also known as a bait fish. No, no, it was great to try it for the first time and try a brand new recipe with you all. So thank you so much for watching. We appreciate you letting us into your lives. It means a lot to us. So until our next adventure, follow your, your dreams, dreams and, and keep, keep on, on catching. catching.